tapped in with the guys. BWO. BWO. Let me ask y'all a question. Why do you think so many conscious leaders, uh, <clears throat> people that's been really putting in that work for the community find themselves with some success in 2020, last year? Finally. I mean, you're talking about people that's been working for 20, 30, 40 years, and they finally getting them some money. They finally getting some recognition. Why do you think that happened? And I know that there's some people that's mad, though, because they was working for 10, 20 years, but 2020 was not that year. Now, I was talking to the beautiful goddess, Queen Al Four, and she actually asked me that question. And my thought as I start streaming the answer, I said, maybe it's because they were waiting for the mothership. They knew that there was qualifications to get on the mothership, but they stopped working and they were no longer qualified when they pulled up. What exactly does that mean? See, <laughs> it's not enough to be ready. 364 days of the year, but on the 365th, you didn't show up. See, this becomes a lifestyle. Those who didn't give up, those who didn't concede, those who didn't allow themselves to be bested out by insecurities because people never validated their work efforts. They kept going. And there's qualifications to get on that mothership. You gotta be of a certain weight, you gotta be of a certain training. So the way I look at it in this proverbial mothership that I'm talking about is more so our heaven more so our actualization of our dreams, more so our manifestation of the things that we want to see. But then I caution those who find them success right now. This is a cautionary tale because I don't want you to start sleeping at the wheel. I want you to understand you can celebrate for a moment, but you need to get back to work. And now you need to work harder than ever because you now have something to maintain. And when you have something to maintain, now that's a greater responsibility. Now you have to learn how to do it the right way. You're starting to get you some money, but listen, we want you to have the money because righteous minds should be able to fund a righteous thought so we can create a righteous world. Now those who didn't find themselves with the opportunity to where they build it and they had that level of success, it's okay. The opportunity still exists in the now. Time is one continuous moment. Yesterday has an idea, tomorrow doesn't exist. Tomorrow was created by the lazy. It was two people. Bro was in the field, he working but the Egyptians are like working on the bricks, he's doing his masonry work. And bro came up with this idea. He said, listen, how about we do this tomorrow? He said, tomorrow? <laughs> what is tomorrow? Right, that's my accent. <laughs> and he said, well, tomorrow is the time we don't have to do it right now and we can do it later. He did the hand movements and everything. And bro was like, oh, that sound good. Let's do it tomorrow. Tomorrow was created by procrastinators who don't do shit today. Delay in opportunities. Do it in the now because only now exists. You're only wasting the now infinite times hoping that another opportunity comes. Should I invest in this now? Should I start the business now? Should I, should I try to repair relationships now? Should I get this education now? The answer is always yes because the more you wait, the more you lose because opportunity costs. See, I wanna leave y'all with this. Our relationship with time has to change. Forget that Gregorian calendar. Forget what was instituted by the papal bull. So white patriarchal intellect rules and governs over our time. You have to understand that this is the end of times. Why? Because we are going to end that Gregorian calendar. How did they get everybody to fall under their institution and their rule? Other places, Ethiopia wasn't under that. How did they get all of these countries to say, you know what, Pope, you're right. We're gonna move with that. And then once they did that, they was able to control your time. And see, there's two ways to measure time as human beings do. What we feel, right, immaterial, and then we measure times through calendars and clocks, our material measurement. So we can feel as if an hour has passed, but really it was five minutes. And the measurement shows us that it was only five minutes. We have not been under white supremacy that long. 400 years is a blip in time for a people that's infinite. We've been here for so long, this is a small lesson. Now you gotta wake up and remember who you are. Then you have to take back your time in the now. When you gotta work for somebody else, you're on their time. They control you. They pay you for your time. Hey, I need your energy for the next 10 hours and then I'm gonna give you a value on what I think is worth. And now we feel like we're running out of time, not realizing that we are infinite people. 
that we have to steep ourselves in a moment and we're here forever. And then we do so many good works that even when our body is gone, our time continues because of the values that we put into the world. So as you work on today, work on your relationship with time. Understand how to take control of the now, how to steep yourself in the present. The end of times has begun. All white patriarchal intellect is dying off. All white matriarchal intellect is dying off. The institution of white supremacy is dead. So, when does the institution of black power begin? It begins with you. Peace. Go to blackworldorder.com, become an official member, y'all. Peace.